Okay, so today we're gonna do a repair on the distressor and uh, it has a bad memory cap. Let me show you what's supposed to happen. So when you turn on a distressor, it's supposed to remember where you have your settings. So let's do distortion three, four to one, a high frequency emphasis. When you turn it off and turn it back on, it's supposed to remember those settings, which it did. This one has a bad memory cap. When you turn, let's say we set this to six to one, distortion two, you turn it off. When you turn it back on, it resets to factory. So we're gonna take this unit out and we're gonna show you how to repair it. Okay, so there are screws on the top panel here, these small screws. There's also these four large screws here and there's one hidden under this knob. So you need an Allen wrench to take off this knob. So you can remove your top cover. Very, very clean build, as you can see. Uh, you need to remove this knob. So you need to take a little Allen wrench, set it in there to the little set screw. And you'll see there's another screw hiding right under here. So you can take that out and the whole front panel will be loose. Okay, so from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift this whole thing up and tilt this circuit board up. But first we have to remove the five screws. One, two, three, four, and one hiding behind here, five. So let's do that. Okay, so a couple of things I wanna say. First of all, this is a cap that we're gonna replace. It's very easy to see on the back side. There are two pins. Uh, you're gonna use basically the exact same type of cap. This is a 0.047 farad and 5.5 volt. Uh, just like this one, our negative side is here. So on the back of the board, it's gonna be on the left and positive is here. We're gonna put it in just like that. Now, I uh, would be very careful, try not to touch anything on here, just in case there's any stray voltages sitting around in the caps. It is helpful to have someone help you hold this up while you uh, solder in the cap. Okay, so we've got the board tilted up. You can see like here's the multi-pin ribbon connector here. The cap we're going to be replacing is right here, right above this screw terminal, right there and right there. So we're gonna get our soldering iron, desolder this, and then use our pump to clean up the holes. Okay, so again, these are our two points. We've got our soldering iron here. I'm going to grab some pliers. And on the other side, I'm gonna grab the cap. Again, try not to touch anything else. And we're gonna work it out. We're gonna just heat up these terminals and rock it out. Get the other one. Okay, there's our cap, pretty easy. Now we're going to take our pump. Where is that pump? Here it is. One of these, very simple. You can get these on Amazon or wherever. You're gonna just uh, prime it. And we're gonna reach back here. Make sure we can see light through it. Yep. Okay, and let me get this set. Yep. Cool. Okay, so that's set. We're gonna put our new cap in. Again, our negative side needs to go this way. So the negative side is marked on the cap, usually with a big minus sign. <laughs> so we're gonna pop this in. Right there. Yep. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of solder. Just right on the edge. That's right on the edge here. Okay, doesn't need much. And then we're gonna take our clippers, have these sort of needle nose snips. Snip off some of the excess. And you're pretty much done. 
All right, so now all we need to do is reassemble. So carefully set this down. I'm gonna make sure that the PCB is sitting up on these little standoffs. Make sure you're not letting it get caught on anything. Make sure this panel sits in nicely, that these wires sit in and just put it back in in reverse order. So put in your PCB screws, which are the silver ones. One, two, three, four, five. Then put in your front panel. Once the PCB is secured, once your front panel is secured, is just give this a tilt and a light shake, just so if there's any spare pieces of solder, you can clean those up. I have a couple of little flecks of copper or something uh, that might have just come out during uh, the installation. Just wanted to mention that. Otherwise, you can just put on your front cover and we'll test it out. Okay, so another thing to keep in mind is that the Empirical Labs knobs, like check this out. See how it aligns perfectly at zero? But if you go to 10, it actually goes a little bit past. That's one more tip for you is actually set this to minimum and then align your set screws to where this vertical line follows the zero exactly and then tighten with your Allen wrench. Okay, so we've got our unit plugged back in. We've got power on. Let's set it to four to one, high frequency emphasis, distortion two. When we turn it off and back on, it should remember that. And it does, so repair successful. <laughs>